Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo. Here we are, level nine. Let's, uh, let's begin uh, exploring level nine as we got some magma demons. Some blood claws. Come on. Blood claws seem to be enhanced versions of the gargoyle. There we go. So I get my healing spell on. Who knows what kind of fun shenanigans will be coming across here. Uh, also. I, brought, I think I brought it up last time. I wasn't sure how, exactly how many floors there were. There are 16 floors in this game, so we are past the halfway mark now. Which is very cool. I knew this LP wasn't going to be particularly long compared to something like Tales of Fantasia or Titan Quest. Bastard sword. Okay. Love those guys around. Like treasure. Honestly, though, they're not really that hard. Yeah, being able to throw stuff at me is a little annoying. I'm not gonna go all the way back there now. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Seems counterproductive to go walk all the way back. Oh, open. Give me the gold. I did drop off, I don't know if I did it on screen or off, but I did drop off some of my gold on the floor. Uh, interest, interest room. Ugh. Yeah, it makes sense that they would resist fire. I, I would say it would make sense for them to be immune to fire. Got some lava. All right, let's uh, get some. Definitely tell that we're making it pretty far down now that we got like lava and crap, you know. Lava's pretty hell-ish. You know, I've noticed that when I <laughs> cast heal on myself, I like hover my mouse over myself. I don't know. I don't think I actually have to do that. I think it just happens automatically. I think it's just kind of a force of habit. You guys can be kind of stupid sometimes. The AI in general can be a little wonky, you know, from time to time. I've noticed it gets the job done, you know. I'm not saying that. You know, AR, action RPGs don't always need, like, top-tier AI. But, I mean, if it's broken, then, yeah. All they really have to do is, like, at least be somewhat aggressive, I'd say. Rest in peace, my friend. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. 
I got plenty of potions and they're 50 gold each, so. Can't use this yet. That is for a quest. Okay, we found a uh, we found one of the quests already without actually accepting the quest. Well, I'm going to uh, do something real quick. Stupid. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we gotta find an item first, technically, before we can uh, do anything with that. I don't think we have. Where is that? Could be really good. I'm hoping it is. We have to find a tome first. And then we can do the quest. Shouldn't there be a uh, shortcut in here, though? I'm on. How close are we? Oh, yeah, we're pretty close to a level. One thing I I have learned recently is like when you go to load up your your save, you can either load up your save or start a new game. And I was wondering what that meant. What happened if I started a new game? So I started a new game up on my uh, test character, and you keep everything. You just restart the game, and I'm like, that's pretty broken. <laughs> that's being that's pretty ridiculous. All right, let's get you up to forty. Get you up to fifty-five. Next is going to be vitality, and probably more decks or something. I like being able to hit my enemies. My magic is really good at 63. I feel like we're, we're, we're good. The only reason I would want to keep putting points into it is for more mana. More mana is nice. Okay. We got two... Uh, is it both the way back up to town and yeah wow they're like right next to each other that was very nice all right we gotta look for this tome first though That's what we're looking for and then we'll easily be able to do this quest i think we're in a uh, group four quests now like i said we're getting close to the end of the game there isn't going to be there isn't an insane amount left in this game it's pretty short um, my playtime on GOG says I've been playing over five hours, and that is with me messing around with other characters. So. Yeah, we, uh, we, I have not been doing this LP for five hours. I'd say like four hours, probably. Where is this tome? Somebody, there was some gold somewhere I didn't get. Here it is. 
pick up the gold. We got quite a bit. I think we might have like 30,000, which is pretty nice. Oh, there's a little, little bit over here I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> okay, never mind. Literally nothing. Bow. Still nothing. If I check there. Oh yeah, we need 76, a little over 76,000. Uh, 760,000 um, experience before next level. Wowzers. Hmm. Surprised I haven't found anything yet. If I can't find anything soon, I'll look for it off screen. Because it says it's on the ninth level, and I'm on the ninth level. I mean, I found the mushrooms. All right, yep, yeah. hold on. I shall return. All right, so I've been walking around for a while, and from according to this, it's the book that I was looking for should have dropped off of the dead adventurer I came across, which I, I'm pretty sure is like a guy around here. Right, this guy right here. But there's nothing around him. I didn't pick anything up because I don't have the quest. Oh, yeah. Greetings. I did get this from um, a pleasure to see one of my best customers. I know that Griswold off screen. Into the labyrinth. And there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth about the Bellman Hellforge, where powerful weapons of magic are crafted. A legend had it that deep within the Hellforge rested the Anvil of Fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the Bellman Anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the Anvil of Fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. Yeah, all right. So the only thing I can think of is maybe, I don't know if it's like a glitch. I don't know, unless there's something, uh, some other uh, body I missed down here. I've been walking, I walked, I thought I've walked pretty much everywhere. I mean, the mushrooms are here, so I know it's the quest. So I should find the tome, but I haven't found the tome. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, let's go up to town real quick. Maybe off screen, I'll try something. I don't know. Really, really weird. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is see, maybe, maybe I accidentally picked it up or something. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. I'm going to talk to Adria because that's who you're supposed to talk to after you get the, the tome. So I'm going to talk to her real quick, see if she says anything. If not, then I don't know. I'm gonna see if that if it's like a glitch. 
I sense a soul in such no. a All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. Hmm. Level 9 was pretty small, though. So. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. That's the only thing I can think of is if it was somehow glitched and it didn't drop like it was supposed to. Yeah, we got like 20,000 right there, so. 46,000 gold? Wow. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. All right. Hello, my friend. Let's identify Stay some while. stuff. Listen. Sort of giant. Bow of brilliance. Eh. What's my damage with it? 11 to 20? There's one less. So, uh, sure, why not? Why not have a l potentially more damage? Well, what can I do for you? Sell. Helm of uh, structure. I don't know why my brain had a hard time reading that. That is nice. That is really nice. Amber Ring of Sorceries. Resist all plus 19, plus 20 magic. I'll probably get rid of that, maybe. I mean, the Ring of Engagement is really nice, but... Resist all is probably going to be more helpful. You know, to actually resist some damage. Well, what can I do for you? Sure. Glorious armor is very expensive. Sure, I got the money. And gold really isn't even that hard to come across. So, uh... I mean, minus two from damage is nice, but... We have a crap ton of magic. That is for sure. Probably could have kept it, but whatever. Oh yeah, let's uh, repair some stuff first as well. Well, what can I do for you? There we go. There we go. Still got ten thousand on the ground too, so seventeen thousand. That's pretty good. Alrighty. I'm going to make it to floor 10, then uh, I'm going to look more into this tome thing off screen. See if it's a glitch. Or maybe if I can find something out. I don't know. It's really weird. Because it should have dropped. It says it should have fallen off the fallen adventure. All I got was a book. Not a book, a bow. I didn't get the book. That's the problem. All right. Oh, there are... Uh stuff to kill never mind there we go we saw floor 10 <laughs> so uh, yeah there's a bunch of crap right there so yeah off screen i'm gonna look into this quest real quick and if i can do it i can do it because i want to do it you get some you get something nice out of it if not <sighs> that sucks but i i can live without it so uh yeah until next time guys see ya